Did you know that animals getting hit by planes is an actual issue? Sadly, it happens more often than you would think, and it's something the airlines should work harder on to avoid at all costs. From birds to bears, these are unfortunate animals that get hit by planes. Number 11, birds. The most obvious choice for our first number on the list are all kinds of birds, and for a very good reason. But the animals get more interesting and shocking as the list continues. Anyways, birds are the most common ones that collide with aircrafts. Geese, swans, ducks, cranes, none of them are safe from deadly strikes by their metallic counterparts. These are mostly birds that migrate with seasons, trying to find food and crops that are sometimes positioned in close proximity to airports. Some of them, however, like Canada geese, don't migrate, but rather live and feed near cities around the airports. You might expect that the bigger the bird, the more likely it is to get hit by a plane. However, the most commonly struck birds are the smaller ones. The so-called horned lark that loves opened airfields where it can look around with no danger of predators lurking around. According to some estimates, throughout this decade, around 13 to 15,000 birds enter a collision with planes every year, and almost 40 daily. This creates a very real danger and cost to the airplanes, their staff, and passengers, but also to our tiny friends that just want to do what's natural for them, spread their wings. There are several methods that could help reduce incidents with these little fellows. Some experts recommend, for example, that if the birds in question love water, the pond or the marsh may be filled in. Also, the grass can be cut. Propane cannons can be used to scare off the birds, or birder follies or falcons can be used. These are the kinds of measures that would keep both the birds and the plane safe. Number 10, deer. Although birds make up 97% of airplane collision victims, the other 3% include other wildlife, and among them, deer. According to a 2017 article in The Atlantic, more than 1,000 deadly collisions between airplanes and deer took place from 2015 to 2017. Wow, that's a lot. In October 2018, an American Eagle, CRJ-200, hit a deer at a regional airport in Pennsylvania. In 2017, another American Eagle struck a deer during takeoff, causing significant damage and resulting in emergency landing. These accidents prove that we need to implement better solutions to these problems, for our own sake as well as for the deers. Why is it deers take off when they hear a twig snap in the woods, but stand still if a car or a plane is coming straight for them? This gives deer in the headlights a whole new meaning. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number nine, skunks. These furry creatures with their notorious ability to spray an extremely unpleasant odor get hit by airplanes more often than you might think. One of the instances where this smelly furry animal was struck by a plane and didn't live to see another day is when a report was filed with Transport Canada about a skunk struck by an aircraft called WestJet Boeing 737 at Ottawa International Airport on July 14, 2020 at 10.12 p.m. Skunk remains were found on the runway. It is reportedly the seventh skunk to be mauled by an airplane in the last 20 years, but just one of reported 92 cases. The skunk had no impact on the plane. The impact of the plane on the skunk was deadly. Poor little guy. Another smelly creature collided with a plane in August 2018 at the same airport when a Republic Airlines plane hit a skunk on the landing. The animal died instantly and its carcass was being removed while the runway had to go into temporary shutdown. Another incident happened in September 2015 when a Porter's airline from Toronto also hit a skunk upon landing, but the adorable creature was thankfully found still alive. The majority of airplane skunk collisions largely occur in the late evening, since the striped skunk, common to North America, is a nocturnal creature. Let's try to make an effort to help them to not get overrun by our flying machines. We can at least try to minimize the risks and maximize well-being of both skunks and people. Number eight, hares. Hares are animals similar to rabbits. They even belong to the same family as rabbits and are about the same shape and size but are characterized by longer ears and mostly solitary lives. You've probably seen these animals trying to cross the freeway on a road trip or two. And yes, they are not immune to airplane strikes. It is often reported that the major problem with them, as with skunks, is that they get sucked into plane engines, but that's a misconception. 
they are much likely to be hit and killed by a plane. Just last year in 2019, 11 hares that lived in the grassy areas near the runways were struck by airplanes in Dublin, Ireland, according to multiple reports. In an attempt to prevent them from even getting sucked into the airplane engines, preventative measures have been taken to manage the wildlife living near the runways, including hares. One incident of a plane colliding with our wide-eyed furry friend happened on February 1, 2020. An Aer Lingus plane had struck a hare during takeoff and was forced to turn around and land back at the Dublin airport. Number 7. Turtles Not even these armored creatures are safe from airplane hits. According to multiple sources published in 2015, airplanes have hit more turtles than drones. I wonder what turtles themselves would have said to that if they could talk, but they can't, so here we are to lend them some of our time and voices. Between the year 1990 and 2015, a total of 198 turtles were struck by planes. Just from 2010 to 2015, 112 turtles have had an untimely death from airplane strikes. Poor little Sheldons, it's not like they can move very fast. Although they may not be in as much danger as birds, they are at a significant risk of being crushed by a plane, more so than faster specimens mentioned on our list. We should be aware of the fact that turtles don't possess any serious threat to planes and their staff and passengers, but the other way around stands, just saying. Number six, foxes. These classically cunning animals have had their fair share of encounters with airplanes. The most unusual scenario involves a fox running out of a nearby bush and getting crushed by the plane. Why must animals do this? That's exactly what happened with the Exeter-based flight run Fleeb in 2017, when a fox suddenly ran out in front of the plane on the runway, which resulted in the animal's death before the plane took off. Passengers were then relocated to another flight and all the safety procedures were strictly conducted, which led to the preservation of lives, just not the foxes. The incident was, unfortunately, unpredictable and thus unavoidable, but what can be done to save both human life and wildlife is to develop even more elaborate strategies that would allow for more precise screening of the runway before takeoff to make sure that people won't be hurt and neither will foxes. Number five, coyotes. Back in 2017, several news outlets were reporting an incident that took place at the Regina airport when an airliner from Toronto reported an unusual encounter with a wildlife specimen, a coyote. As the pilots approached the runway from the south of the city, they said they believed they had previously seen something resembling a coyote on the runway itself. After landing, they reported to ground control that they thought they had hit something, and it was indeed a coyote. As you are already aware at this point, large animals are not uncommon casualties of fatal collisions with airliners. The plane landed safely, and the crew of the plane did find the coyote's carcass and removed it from the runway. Another story took place sometime in 2014. Another coyote was struck on the runway at Gerald R. Ford International Airport by a Delta Airlines plane. The plane returned for a 15-minute long shutdown of the runway. According to officials at the airport, the perimeter fence keeps animals out of the runway most of the time, but some do find their way in by digging under it and slipping through, which is probably what the unfortunate coyote did. Number four, brown bear. Yes, you heard that right. It really happened in 2020, and it doesn't even come close to being the craziest thing that happened this year. A brown bear was struck by an airplane. Is it odd that it doesn't sound that odd at this point? The brown bear in question was hit by an Alaska jetliner while landing on November 15th. This collision caused, as you might have guessed, both the death of the beer and the significant damage to the airplane itself. The Boeing 737-700 killed a female brown bear, but its cub, thought to be around two years old, was not injured. Aw, poor cub. None of the passengers nor the crew members were harmed during the accident at the Yakutat Airport in southeast Alaska. The runway was cleared 10 minutes before the plane was supposed to land, removing any signs of potential danger and securing a safe landing for the airliner, which did land after dark, with all of the safety procedures done prior to landing. The pilots of the plane, however, did spot two bears crossing the runway while they were slowing down after landing. According to an Alaska Airlines statement, the nose gear missed the bear, but the captain felt an impact on the left side after the bears had crossed under the plane. Even though the airport is partially closed by a fence, 
the animals somehow manage to slip through or under it. All employees are expected to undergo a wildlife hazard training and use various methods to herd away the animals, such as pyrotechnics and other vehicles. Luckily, none of the six passengers of the jet were injured, but the fact remains. Too bad that amidst all the insanity this year, even a bear had to be crushed by a plane. Number three, armadillo. An armadillo is a small mammal with a shell of armored plates, but not armored enough, unfortunately. One of these peculiar creatures made headlines in 2015 when an iconic actor, Morgan Freeman, his plane had a severe collision with this odd animal that caused the plane to blow two tires during takeoff from a Mississippi airport, as a friend of the famous actor said. Mayor Bill Luckett, Morgan Freeman's friend, said that the landing gear of the two-engine plane had collapsed and had run off the runway during a forced landing in Tunica. Luckily, nobody was injured during this forced landing as the result of the armadillo running into the runway, but the same could not be said about the actor's plane. His pilot, Jimmy Hobson, quickly noticed the danger and noticed spotters on the ground to report back about how big the damage was because the hydraulic line was cut by the tires that blew. This strange incident with this creature was rare, but even that wouldn't have meant much to anyone if people got hurt. Save the animals though. Number two, alligators. While not as common as collisions with some of the other animals on this list, it has been established that the number of incidents with alligators was on the increase. An alligator seems like an awfully unlikely candidate to get hit by a plane, but oddly enough, it is becoming a reoccurrence. On June 7th in 2017, a 500 pound alligator was struck by an airplane landing at the Orlando Executive Airport near downtown Orlando. As it often happens, the animal was crossing the runway when the plane was mobile. Another alligator was involved in an FOD accident in 2013 at the Southwest Florida International Airport in Fort Myers. Prior to that incident, another gator was hit by a plane on September 12, 2012 at the Orlando International Airport. There had been four FOD incidents involving alligators at the same airport since 1998 up to that point. Beware, gators are taking over airports. Number one, giraffe. Neither crocodiles nor armadillos could beat the oddity of having a plane hit a giraffe, which is why it occupies the number one spot on the list. A plane called Cessna 172 collided with a giraffe at the Santuani airstrip in Botswana. Fortunately, the pilot sustained only minor injuries, unlike the plane itself and the giraffe. From the photos, it can be deduced that the impact happened probably upon landing, which would explain the position of the flap wing. Cessna 172 was damaged beyond repair, but there's nothing to worry about. It's not like we're gonna start witnessing plane draft impacts on a daily basis. Thanks for watching this kind of upsetting video. Poor animals, why did they have to cross those runways? Do you have any ideas to help stop these terrible collisions? Leave me a comment below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.